So yeah, this is how far I've gotten. I'm missing these six to place up there. Let's uh, get those done. I'll just move my RG a tiny bit. I use this RG as the smithy as well. So here. This is one thing with megatheriums that is very handy. Being able to place tall ceilings with uh, there we go. Without a problem. So there we go. The base has all metal. I added this gate here because there is, as you can see, a little hole here. But if you open it, it doesn't lead anywhere. You can just go underneath here, place a C4. So I put the gate there so that it uh, maybe makes some raiders think they should go through there, waste some of their C4. Once I get some vaults, I'll uh, place them uh, around everywhere so that it's hard to know which one to go for. Either way, this is just a weekend of solo play. I <laughs> have been away from the dodos for a bit. They have laid a lot of eggs. This is not normal, <laughs> it's usually way less, but as you can see in here, I've already got 43 uh, dodo kibble, so I'm going to tame up a lot of uh, level 150 trendons with that. And then uh, 32 more eggs and some dialogue eggs. I'm saving this up to get a 150 dodic or a perfect tamed enki, or both. Yeah, we've got one uh, RG which has high melee and this one which has decent weight It's not leveled up that much, but it started out nice, so uh, Yeah, this guy is my vault at the moment. I store a lot of stuff in him And uh, yeah, so you shouldn't and this is where what I started with Fabricator in here, then this is the first two uh, foundations I placed, just a 2 by one with smithy, forge, portal and la, mestle, mortar and pestle, <laughs> and uh, a storage box, so nothing big, and this uh, Megalosaurus was the first one that I tamed first animal I tamed and then I realized it could, could not carry uh, gather berries so yeah but I also in here I also have a there it is dung beetle in a cage um, which gets me fertilizer I have to there we go so I'll take this and put that back in, take the oil. You don't need rare flowers, by the way. I just put them in because I didn't want to carry them. Um, so yeah, let's go and check out the last thing. Down here. By the way, this is a PvP server, so... Official PvP, not small tribes, just... Normal official. Let's check. Ah, not a bed, but take these and the meat, and then get rid of everything else. Yeah. I used this uh, cliff here. We've got obsidian down there, metal like all over this uh, mountain piece, and down here I've got crops because I needed uh, crops that don't spawn here. 
So they're at middling now. full of fertilizer Let's see oh it's already grown nice so I'll put in some more fertilizer yeah I wonder if you still get maybe not I'll take it back if you still get citronols even though you put this in but this has 165% uh, I just didn't want to waste any more crystal uh, 165% greenhouse effect and we get randoms here all the time so when I find 150s I just uh, tame them up I don't have to go like out of my way to look for one and this is uh, the alpha tribes they have built some stuff around here too much so if you are at red obelisk there is nothing like that way you have to walk so far to get to the desert and the beaver dams are like up in this area and the most interesting stuff is like in this area so you would almost never travel past this point which is my idea with this base so to see my base you would have to travel around the corner here which almost nobody will because there is no point <laughs> in going this way but I will be making some turrets at some point I don't know if I'll place them probably have a turret tower here uh, some on top of the base and maybe one behind and get rid of these trees but we'll see but that's what I made in uh, one weekend so I guess two and a half days it's Sunday evening now so yep my last base got wiped so I don't feel too attached to this one when I know it's that simple to rebuild oh we got another dialogue So yeah, I just check up on these guys now and then, and uh, get the kibble that way. Now we have the citronels, so we can make the dialogue kibble as well. So that's awesome. <coughs> yep. So uh, there is not much more to say. This guy is a beast. I use him to go to the desert to kill... Uh, mantis and uh, I'm going to try to kill some death worms with him as well he has 5k HP and 317 melee and I'll probably just pump health maybe a little bit more damage I did two points in moon speed I don't know why <laughs> it's, a, it's a long walk over there so if I have one level I'll end up using it I do have this shield not the best I got this as well, uh, three times the normal durability, so that's uh, pretty awesome to have. Thyla saddle, yeah, and my trusty whip that I got on Scorched Earth. So, not really that much to show, a lot of electric prods from killing mantis, and a decent carno saddle, but yeah. This is how far I've gotten, now it's uh, mostly just securing some parts of the base, building a few vaults and then it's grinding for turrets and uh, raiding other people, I guess. And I could also go for something big like getting 20 of this guy and uh, going for 
the Broodmother bus. Hmm. It might be an idea, but for now, you can leave suggestions in the comments. And uh, I guess it's time to say goodbye. So I'll see you in the next video. Guess I'll sleep here. <laughs> Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs>